How to participate in a webinar. Webinars are online classes using a computer and a phone. They are becoming very popular as a way to attend a class from the comfort of your own home or congregation. Webinars are typically one and a half hours long, although they can be as short as an hour and as long as two hours. This video will walk you through how to take a Surge webinar. First, check to see if you have a computer High-speed internet access such as cable, DSL, or T1. Dial-up tends to be too slow. A phone you can make a long-distance call with. It is best if this phone can be placed on speaker or use a headset if attending alone. This frees up your hands for taking notes. For some webinars, you might also be able to connect to the conference call line with Skype. The presenter will include instructions for this if that is possible. Now go to the Surge webinar page at www.surgeuua.org slash surgewebinars.html or the site where you saw the webinar advertised and select the webinar you want to attend. Click the webinar registration link. The registration page will ask you for your basic contact information. After you register and before the webinar starts, you will get an email with a link to the meeting web page, a phone number to call and the attendee access code, and any additional information or instructions for the webinar from the presenter. Most webinar software programs also send a reminder within 24 to 48 hours before the webinar. There are several different programs that can be used to run webinars, and in Surge we mostly use AnyMeeting.com. This program does not currently support iPads or other mobile devices that can't run Flash, so you will need to use a computer for access. Not sure if your computer can run the AnyMeeting program? Check their website for a system link button at support.anymeeting.com. Just click the system link test button to run the program. Also, while this program does have the ability to do audio and video through the computer, it is not recommended because the technology just hasn't gotten good enough yet. So for now, you'll need to call in for the audio, but check your confirmation email to be sure. About 10 or 15 minutes before the designated time for the webinar to start, you need to prepare for the webinar. Set up your computer in a comfortable place where you can also take notes. Hopefully this is also a space where you can shut the door or limit noise and interruptions. Turn off your email and Facebook and other programs so you are not distracted. Open your email and call the number on your, in your email to connect with the conference call using your phone. Please announce yourself when you enter the room so everyone knows you are there. Then click the link in the email to join the meeting. This will open your web browser and take you to the login page. When you log in, you will be asked to provide your name and an email address. Your name will show up in the participant list on the screen. Click the Join Meeting link to log in. You are now connected to the group on the computer and on the phone. The presenter will use the phone to provide you with the audio portion of the presentation, while the video will be on your computer screen. As the presenter goes through the workshop, you may see PowerPoint presentations, videos, documents, or websites. During the webinar, there are a few things you should know that will make things easier for you, your fellow participants, and the presenters. The list of participants is in the top left side of your screen. This shows you who is on the call. Presenters are marked by a talking bubble above their heads. Some presenters may choose to make the attendee list invisible to everyone but themselves, especially with large webinars. At the bottom left corner of the screen is a chat box. You can also type your questions in this box for everyone to see, or you can send a message to one person in the group, such as the presenter. You could perhaps let the presenter know if you are having technical problems or are confused without interrupting the webinar. Remember, the presenter can't see you, so they can't use body language to know what's going on. Now, depending on which version of any meeting your presenter is using, there might be ads on the right side of the page. The free version shows these. To prevent them from distracting you, you can either move your browser window so the, that portion is off the screen, or if you have an ad blocker extension installed in your browser, it will block these ads. You can also use the mood button to tell the presenter what is going on. Click the mood icon to get the list of options. 
These symbols stand for, I have a question, please slow down, please speed up, I agree, and I disagree. One note, however, if you indicate you have a question, once your question is answered, please make sure you change your mood back to normal so the presenter isn't confused. Please know how to mute and unmute your phone and keep it muted except when asking a question. This prevents background noise from being transmitted over the line during the webinar. If your phone does not have a mute button, most conference call programs will tell you this in the instructions before you enter the room. And in most cases, star 6 mutes and unmutes your phone. There are no scheduled breaks during a webinar, so please feel free to step away if necessary. If you take the phone with you, please make sure you mute it. Presenters often ask for questions during webinars. When speaking, since others can't see you, please preface your remarks with, this is, and say your name. And at the end, by saying, I'm done, or something like that. This helps everyone know what's going on and reduce interruptions. If your computer freezes up or acts up in some way, feel free to sign off, restart your browser, and rejoin the webinar following the same procedure described earlier. This is one reason to use separate audio. You'll still be able to hear what's going on. Use the question mark mood or send a chat message to the presenter if you need a slide repeated that you missed while doing this and to let them know that you've had problems. When the webinar is over, Simply close your browser and hang up your phone to disconnect the call. Some congregations gather groups together to attend webinars. This offers your group the opportunity to discuss what you have learned after the webinar has ended. Congregations might gather a committee or a cluster might gather all the committee chairs of a particular interest area. When organizing a group to participate in a webinar, here are a few things you need to keep in mind. You will need a large enough computer screen for everyone to see. Connecting the computer to a large screen television or to a projector that can display the screen on the wall will help. You will need a speaker phone so everyone can hear. Be certain you know how to mute and unmute the phone since side conversations may happen with the group. Try to get anyone who is speaking in front of the phone so they can be heard. The further away you are from the phone, the harder it is to hear you. And make sure the room has comfortable seating and tables or something that folks can use to take notes on. And that is all there is to know about taking a webinar. If you need further assistance, please contact your district office or email office at surgeuua.org. They will know where to direct you for the help you need. And we hope to see you soon in a Surge webinar. Thank you.